Hello everyone, so we are going today use MeshLab to create a 3D model, my final 3D model of a coral and to measure the volume of that coral. So first we need to use the file that we saved using Cloud Compare, okay? The Cloud Compare was the software, the program that we used to, to clean, to create a reference, okay? like the scale uh, my scale was in this case a chessboard okay and I know the measure of the quadrant so after that we can use our coral so this was one of the corals that I have okay if we need to clean something we can just use this tool okay select versus this one is for faces and this one is basically a merge between them and here is to delete the points here the faces and here uh, the both okay so I'm just going to do it a little bit just to show you okay when you see it in red you can see that he selected the points then if you want to join more you just press the control button okay and then a little bit more over here over there okay okay and then click over here okay perfect so now I'm going to show how to construct the merge okay you basically write it down plus on dates also over here in this bar uh, but I prefer to use here the search uh, so the one that I want is this one okay string the Poisson surface of construction okay we always want the merge of visible layers reconstruction depth 8 is for a very soft reconstruction 10 is a better one and 12 is the maximum of the reconstruction okay is the best one is the perfect one but to avoid to spend too much time doing it I'm going just to do the 8 okay you can leave the rest and apply okay now that we have our mesh, okay, as we can see here, we can take the points now, and we can see over here that we have our final model. Very good. Okay, I'm going just to clean these ones over here, so now I cannot use this one, because it's not going to have any effect. Also, remember that, select the right one okay otherwise it's not going to work and usually when I select it it appears in red but sometimes uh, the program is not working so well you can see okay so yeah so now that we I have uh, my final 3D reconstruction I made it at, as height okay so it, it means that with a 12 it's even better but this is just to show you guys how to to do it so now if we write down geometric we can use the compute geometric measures it's going to give me the area and the area okay he, he gave me the area not the but not um, the area sorry the volume so I probably need to, to clean up maybe some parts over here okay and see let's try it again okay and right now it's working so basically once that I have I had sorry uh, some little meshes that was not attached to the main object in the main coral the the volume was not working okay this can can happen sometime and basically I can show you again so the water light 
mesh is not water light, no information on the volume, base center, and uh, in this way uh, it means that some meshes that he created are not uh, all attached to the main object, okay? This is basically can happen, yeah, because for example, as you can see over here, I have some points that are not, that were not well cleaned. This is a good way to show you how, how sometimes this can happen, okay. So mesh lab is a problem that uh, we don't have a tutorial to follow. If we need to do something, we just need to search for it over here, okay. So if I had, for example, a big lack, uh, a big gap in my coral, I could close it. If it's not very big, okay, we can close it using uh, close holes okay everything that we need we can just write it down over there and it probably will help us to to do it okay so yeah in my case we have here the volume center mass and the the area so yeah this was my purpose so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i also have another uh, corals that are already made. I can show as a final resu uh, result. Okay. Okay, over here I have, a, I have another one. Okay. Okay, this is another coral that I made. Yeah, and I have here more. I have a lot of them. So yeah, in this one, for example, uh, we can. You, as you can see here, I have a lack. Okay, so that's why it is not perfect. But over here, with close holes uh, or something like that, we can use it, and we can make our 3D model, our final 3D model. Okay. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, thank you and goodbye.